Hi, JB. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is all I'm gonna eat, y'all. I know. JB took a bunch of my fries. But this is it. I'm leaving a little more than half of the burger here. Oh, Lord. Space available. We are going to Charming Charlie. I'm just looking. I'm not buying anything because I literally just spent. I spent almost $300 today. That's just including groceries, but still. Basic. Come on, JB. How do you sing in those songs, so? JB has created his own language. I know some of you be like, that's because he's super intelligent. Yeah, girl, you're right. But it's really annoying. Translation. How many people know your language? Because I haven't heard of it before. Y'all, this week has been a trying week. I will get into detail when I drop JB off. I'm just dropping him off. He's supposed to not be dropped off on Thursday, but I'm going to be like, can I drop him? They, what, what are they going to say? Hey y'all. <sighs> yeah. It's not <laughs> Hey mama. And the color is still off on this dang old camera, but it's okay. Um, how much time do I have? I literally got like four minutes. Y'all, what I was trying to say, I was talking, speaking with my mama. Hold on, let me try to put this camera lifted up. There she go. If I can get my lights together, like I said, I could probably do a uh, film back here a lot more often. Because like, I like to sit up too, girl. See the flowers? Yeah, they, hold on, let me, let me pan away. Isn't that cute? Yeah, girl. <laughs> um, let me stop, stop it. Um, now I got three minutes. I have a meeting at 11 o'clock, y'all. This week... Woo, I gotta breathe, girl. This week has been between personal stuff and just um, work. It's reporting time, but my thing is that this is how I view life in general. Your fire is not my fire. So be careful how, me drag, how you drag me into your mess. I don't like people that get in a frenzy and antic. Like, be cool, be calm. Don't get everybody else rattled up because your nerves is bad. Girl, we don't all need to have bad nerves, right? That's what I just wanna say real quick. Um, and I don't like to talk about, get very specific. I try to be vague, cause I have family who watch my channel. Hey y'all, a bunch of cousins, girl. I told you I have a lot of cousins, girl. Um, y'all, it is so hard being a parent. 
I always heard people say that who are not parents. So I was like, oh, really? Okay. But when you're actually a parent, it is the most difficult job there is. And oftentimes I hear people say, I've seen comments, you know, from other moms or, you know, those little in, in quotes around Mother Day, you know, being a, being a parent is the most difficult yet rewarding job. No, it's not. No, the hell, I, I'm just being a 100. I do not feel, let me back up. You have your brief moments of reward, but overall, it's, it's, a, it's a job of no benefits in my opinion. No overpay, no nothing. And I'm just, yeah, no, I'm gonna see now something came up in my in, in my text messages. I can't read that right now. So being a parent is the most difficult job. It has its brief moments of rewards, but for me personally, I don't feel any more fulfilled or sustained sustained. I thank God for giving me a healthy child and for me to be able to bear a child that's a gift because I wasn't supposed to be able to, to be honest. But it's so hard. And this is what I want to say too. Just because your child is of age, so you're in this country, 18 and over, you're legal age. You're grown. That's what we say. You're grown now. There are some people in their in their late 20s, 30s mentally. They are not grown. Um, and what I mean by that is that some people, not all people, some people be very, be pushing their kids out, getting them, you know, they got to be whatever list you have for your children to succeed in life. You have to prepare them and make sure that they are ready to let them go. Like I told y'all in one of my other videos, my child will always have a place home. He will always be able to come back home no matter what's going on. And I feel like if, if he's not able to come to me, he should be able to go to some other family members. And I say all this to say this, just because your child is grown doesn't mean you stop being a parent. They will still need us. I still need my parents. Oh, I still need the advice from elders. I don't know everything. I'm about to be 39 and fine. Like I said, in a couple more weeks. I don't claim to know everything. I don't think I know everything. I know some of these kids especially Google girl, especially these millennials they think they know everything but as a parent we need to remain a parent i'm not one of those people uh, parents would be like i'm gonna be a friend too no it depends on the stage At certain stages we can be friends but right now jb is not my friend jb is my child i am the parent do you know what i mean y'all i cannot get this thing these camera settings before i come back officially i'm really have to get these camera settings together because now it is all over the place <sighs> I am curling on my break. I am recording a little bit while I'm on my break. Most of um, the business, when it, oh y'all, I can't get this to, I need to get this camera together. Hold on. Girl, I am back. I am technically on break. Um, so I'm not actively recording or posting or editing. I'm just doing this as a relief, you guys. So last time I had a therapy session when my anxiety was crazy. This was like three years ago. Well, yeah, three years ago. And I had stopped doing my videos. And she's like, so you stopped doing the one thing that was helping you. <laughs> Meaning that she's like, you need to continue it. Even when you don't post it, just continue it. So... I will load this up though, y'all. It has been a crazy, it's Mercury in retrograde right now, Gatorade, whatever the hell they talk, call it, because it has been crazy now going on three weeks for me. And it seems like it's getting crazier and crazier. I mean, I mean like a, just a bunch of different stuff that's going on. Uh, and same thing with my best friend. I haven't really talked to my best friend, like talked, talked to her in almost two weeks. And that's uncommon for us. Sorry, y'all. That's not coming for us. And so I briefly spoke to her yesterday and she's like, there's a lot of stuff going on. I have a lot of stuff going on in the household. Um, she thinks she has, you know, some medical issues. I'm not going to, you know, tell her business out there. She has some medical issues. She was in an ER. And I'm like, call me. I know we're both going crazy. Call me if you get a chance today. So I'm hoping she will call me. Y'all work is, when I tell you work is stressing me the hell out. I have literally been working um, today. I've been working since five. It ha I I've been putting in 10, 12, 12 over days. 10, 12, over, let me see, hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, I've been putting in between 10 to 12 hours a day and I am exhausted, I am tired. And it's not just me, it's everyone at my work. We're just, it's just crazy right now. I, I was placed on a project that it's a new platform for me, new app, new processes, and it's something that starts like next week. 
and it involves managers and leadership and I'm, it's stressing me out y'all I'm trying not to be stressed out about it but it really is because it's leadership it's not just regular old you know associates it's people I'm having to work with hundreds of leaders and I'm like oh my god so anyway dealing with that you know meetings are going on um i literally have had a meeting every day this week i have two today i already have one i have another one that's coming up in two more hours with my manager y'all it's so funny when we have meetings <laughs> because my manager is african-american we do what's called code switch code switch is when you work in um some people don't code switch which is fine some people just they just you know it is what it is code switch is when you use uh you switch to black vernacular English is what we call it with another person of color or African-American. So we would typically start the meeting off like this. Well, hi, you know, I'm gonna not going to mention her name. Let's give her a name. So let's say her name is Lauren. Um, well, hey, Lauren, did you get that email that I sent you earlier about the reports? Did you have any questions about it? I can add another column for you. I could change the statuses. And then like halfway through, I'll be like, child, girl, these reports are going to give you... <laughs> And she'll be like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And so without thinking about it, I code switch in a meeting with other people. And she did too. So I was I was like, okay, good. Because we, I was done, y'all. I was like, child, I'm going to need a cigarette after this. She's like, girl, cigarette. Y'all, we're the, we're the only two black people in the meeting. And so everyone started laughing. I was like, chill. As soon as, as soon as the child comes out, we know, girl, that's the cold switch. That's the key to the, the trigger. The girl, we could go ahead and switch over to to the black the uh, black vernacular English. Anyway, y'all. Um, yeah, but it has been a lot of childs and a lot of girls in our meetings lately because it's been stressful. And I know she's very stressed. And I, I've been praying over my manager because I know she has some personal stuff going on. But yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing off key. But it's okay. Y'all, my baby is in camp. I was worried today because it's a field trip day. And like I said, I don't really want him going on field trips. But, you know, he'll be fine. I may pick him up early. Um... Even with that, with me having to work more, I've had to put him in camp a little bit more often. But y'all, school starts in two more weeks for us. School starts on August 1st. We are meeting his teacher on the 29th, and I need to be looking beautiful and aggressive at the same time when I meet her. Um, so the hair will be big, and the face will be beat. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm trying to prepare for that, you know, get the household in order, get us back on a schedule for when school starts. Because those of you who don't know, my husband works in the hospital, so he's not home at all to help me. It is me doing it all. But thankfully, it's, it's, I should say this, my husband isn't messy. You know how some women have to clean up behind their husband's girl? She, pff, please. Speaking of that, like, yeah, let me crank up this car. Currently, JB is in swim lessons. He has been loving it. I'm gonna be sharing some clips of that if I haven't earlier in the video. He has been loving it to the point to where we're going to pull him out of karate and do swim lessons. He doesn't really feel karate. He's been doing it now off and on for two years and he's not really, yeah. Um, so we're going to switch him over to swim lessons and the good thing about Arizona is that there's pools everywhere Of course, we have our own pool and so yeah, we're going to switch him over to that plus it's cheaper too girl I'm all about it being more affordable hell All right, you guys so who oh lord three hours later I put together oh, 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 okay. You know what? So here's our backyard The bench, and two chairs, a table, I put this together. I like doing stuff like this Y'all, I look a mess because I just washed my hair. We're out here um, for swim lessons again. Swim lessons is every week. But look, every time we come here, there's another little boy. He acts a hot mess when it's time to leave. I don't know if the baby has special needs or whatever. I don't know, but it's because he wants Skittles. And so JB looks at me whenever he starts screaming and crying. JB looks at me like he ain't getting nothing. Today he said he ain't getting nothing for Christmas. JB. We're real last time back. What is JB? We him two times real last stop back. I don't understand what you y'all. The the child is a mess. I mean, he's be screaming out. Excuse my hair, like I said, screaming and crying, screaming and crying. He has to be around nine years old. I'm like, I looked at JB. I said, Where's my belt at? He starts laughing. All right, you guys. So started cooking about mm, 
80% done cooking. Mm -hmm. This is the keen lime pound cake. A little runny on the um, the icing, but I can spoon it back over. Here's some sugar cookies for JB. This is our drink concoction area. I already poured me up one. Yeah. Um, very, very simple for what we're eating. I don't know why this thing just went dark. There you go. Now you can see we have bean, green beans and potatoes, corn, carrots, my barbecue sauce is going away. I'm gonna go turn on the grill to put the chicken wings on. It's been marinating. Yeah, carbs, 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 carbs. I mean, y'all, you know how you have that one month where, okay, so you know you have that one birthday month where everybody's birthday is in that month and then it gets busy. That's what August is. I'm still on break. Y'all won't see this till September. Um, the thing that I like to do on my social media though is still share information so that, you know, you want to keep people coming back to your channel even if you're not there. So I'm still very active on my Instagram and on YouTube as far as my posts go. Um, August, back to this, August is it for me. My birthday in, is in August. My husband's birthday is the day after mine. It's the day after the, the day after mine. Like what the hell? Um, my daddy's birthday, my uncle's birthday, the one that loves Shabby, my niece's birthday, my first niece, and then my really good friend here in the Valley, in Phoenix, who she's originally from Houston, but she lives here in Phoenix too. All that's going on, school starts next week, the house is a mess, we're really busy at work, I mean really busy at work, to the point to where a lot of the things I have on my to-do list, personal, are being um on the back side because i'm just putting out fires all week long so last week let me back up a couple of weeks ago i ordered a new planner from home depot and i used a happy planner you guys it has a different view it's more of a what's called a dashboard and um didn't work for me so i have to do what's called franken plan combined those of you in the planning community you know what that is community so y'all your syllables and vials girl combine planners together i'm gonna try to hear it because jb's back in there playing and i need to hurry up to keep me on track so i have to do that a couple of days ago school starts next week this is my to-do list to get ready for school y'all and i know i could be a bit much but i to help me stay organized and to keep my anxiety at bay and just in general i have to have to-do lists so my back to school includes everything from decluttering decluttering his room making sure he have enough underwear let's keep it real um gradually getting back on a schedule in the morning time so that his body could get used to you know even on the weekends is what we do um cleaning the kitchen right kitchen cleaning the bathrooms just so everything could be clean and i'm not getting ready for school, starting school, getting back into the habit of going to school. Cause again, I told you guys, it's just me. I'm married, <laughs> I'm married, but my husband is not available. He works second shift. And so that means he sleeps in the morning and he works at night. Okay, that girl, those of you in the medical field, you know that I, for the longest, I was upset about that and wanted him to change it. But that shift differential makes, I think he gets at this point, almost like a three or $4 difference per hour. JB's probably gonna come back here because that was loud. See, I knew it. Was that loud? Did it scare you, baby? Yeah. Are you ready for school to start? No. 